Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Just me, the captain. So, some of you may have noticed I haven't posted all the videos from the broads of late. Uh, there's been one or two events that have occurred that need to be discussed. The first one is I injured myself acquiring these bad boys and an Iron Man boot. And the second catastrophic engine failure uh, occurred on the boat the same day this happened. So this video might not be for the screamish. So if you don't like to see mangled legs, in my case, my, my left foot, please turn off now. Hey, if you're still here, well done. So, we're going to go through it, bit by bit, and we're going to go through the reasons why it happened and what we suspect whose fault it is. So anyway, here we go. You're going to see some photos of my leg first. So anyway, now you've seen what happened, um, I just want to point out at this point, I thought it was a spray. Uh, the palm obviously thought otherwise. And as the medic of the trip, unfortunately he can technically override El Capitan, standard military rules. So we went to Norwich A&E, which by the way, he loved taking me to, to the accident emergency department, just putting it out there, far too much. So we went to A&E, uh, many x-rays, you know, they said it wasn't broken and um, it was only a sprain, that was to rest it. They gave me the crutches and the, uh, they didn't give me the boots. This was when I came home, they gave me the crutches. Um, so, you know, bag of peas, you know, plenty of um, uh, painkillers. Uh, in my case, medicinal rum and beer and wine. I didn't take any paracetamol. Um, and we continued our journey. I know that some of you have seen. Um, I took a little bit of a tumble and hurt my ankle. Uh, Lapom has pulled medical rank on me and is taking me to hospital. Um, we are waiting for an Uber. An ambulance goes past, brilliant. Um, to take me to Norwich Accident and Emergency. Um, I think I've broken my ankle. All fun and games, but I need it sorted because Lapom doesn't know how to drive the boat. Captain's log, the POM sorting out Ubers to hospital. It's got his thinking face on. Situation update, it would appear Uber has failed us. The POM will be writing a stiff French letter. Uh, we are now trying the local taxi firm. Other than that, I'm gonna have to drive the boat back to civilization and drive myself to hospital. Tom would like everyone to know that he's a hero for taking me to hospital. Well, you know, somebody's got to do it, and thank God I have the patience. Now, I suppose at this point, I should tell you exactly how it happened. There's a little video of us explaining it. At this time, I did not anticipate any foul play was involved. There's another video coming up. And that video is of a catastrophic engine failure we had on the same day that this happened. Okay, so this is an explanation of what happened 
to my foot, okay? Now, it clearly, a Frenchman designed the ship. Don't know what you're talking about. Right, okay, so here we go. So I was coming down these stairs here, right? And at the bottom here, it is not big enough for me to put my foot, okay? So I stepped off that, I stepped onto this one. Unfortunately, in the process of stepping onto this lip here, it then folded my foot over and over I went. However, look at La Pomme. La Pomme, demonstrate how um, your foot, please. See, look, his feet fit perfectly on that step. God obviously blessed you with uh, plates of meat for feet. Mm. Anyway, yeah, I'm not happy and um, there'll be a complaint. Maybe. Just one of those things. Anyway, just thought I'd explain how it happens because some people will be asking how you uh, Was it completely staged? destroyed your Did foot. Did you script it? Yes. Just, just for the record, just... so everybody knows that none of this has been scripted. It has all been absolutely genuine. We never script anything. Everything that happens, happens. So that is where I ended up on crutches. Anyway, more ale. So literally at this point when I got back, uh, I went to work and um, tried to do, you know, my job. I'm sure we've all got jobs. Needless to say, in about three or four hours of into it, I realised something was, you know, slightly more off than should be for a normal sprain. So I went back to A&E, except the A&E in my hometown. Superior. Anyway, the doctors there were mortified that I was only given these. I should have been given that turns out it was a broken ankle so i've been limping around for a week on the boat with a broken ankle uh, attempted to do some serious manual labor because you know horse for man on a broken ankle in effect trying to walk off a broken ankle um and that put me off work for the next six to eight weeks now they said due to the tendon damage that would be four to eight months recovery time I just want to put that out there, four to eight months. So anyway, some of you should know that I'm going on the boat with Adam in the middle of June, which by the way, as I'm posting this, is in two days time. Now, I've sat around for six weeks, couldn't go to the gym, hence why I look a bit more bulky ladies, it's just more mid cuddle and um, attempted to try and reduce the four to eight week time, uh, four to eight month time, I apologize, to eight weeks. And as you can see, I have done so. Still hurts a little bit, but it's been less than two months and I'm more than ready to go on the boat with Adam. Maybe not put up with Adam, but Go on the boat without him, nevertheless. So, remember, always get yourself checked out twice. Always get a second opinion. My hospital was mortified and pretty pretty angry uh, with the uh, hospital over in Norwich um, for giving me the wrong advice. Uh, but I'm all good. I'm all good now. Um, and um, I look forward to Adam's boat. It's just me and him. Um, and um, there'll be many videos of our adventure. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you weren't too screamish. Um, and uh, catch it out. Have a pleasant evening. Oh, that's good.